hello welcome back to my channel in this video we'll discuss about atomic structure in atomic structure we'll discuss about fundamental particles atom contains three fundamental particles electron proton and neutron if this is an atom you will find nucleus at the center electrons are moving around the nucleus in circular path inside the nucleus you will find proton and neutron proton and neutron and electron is moving around the nucleus let us discuss about electron you see this is a cathode ray tube it consists of cathode and anode two electrodes this part is connected to a vacuum pump and high voltage between two electrodes when the pressure is very low and the voltage is very high electrical discharge could be observed through the gases you see this is the cathode this is the anode this is high voltage applied between cathode and anode because cathode anode are connected to this high voltage and a vacuum pump is connected as shown vacuum pump removes the gas present in the cathode tube or air present inside the tube so the pressure inside the tube becomes less pressure becomes less when the pressure is very low and the voltage is very high the gas present in the tube gets ionized to a plus plus electron if gas a is there it becomes a plus plus electron if hydrogen is there it becomes h plus plus electron if lithium is there lithium becomes li plus plus electron so when the voltage is very high and pressure is very low electrical discharge electrical discharge could be observed through the gases this is the electrical discharge and here vacuum pump decreases the pressure inside the tube by removing air or gas particles present inside the cathode ray tube when the voltage is very high across the electrodes current starts flowing through a stream of particles current starts flowing through a stream of particles moving in the tube from cathode towards anode these are called cathode ray particles these are called cathode ray particles or cathode rays these are called cathode rays these rays are not visible but their behavior can be observed by fluorescent or phosphorescent materials these rays are not visible but their behavior can be observed by fluorescent or phosphorescent materials what do you mean by fluorescent material when light is allowed to fall on fluorescent material it glows when light is not allowed to fall the glow stops this is a fluorescent material in case of phosphorescent material when light is allowed to fall on a phosphorescent material it glows if light is not allowed to fall still it glows in dark that is a phosphorescent material 
which when hit by cathode rays they glow fluorescent materials glow if cathode is allowed to fall and if there is no cathode ray no glow is there but in case of phosphorescent material it glows even in the absence of cathode ray this can be observed in tv screen in electric field and magnetic field the behavior of cathode rays are similar to negatively charged particles in electric field and in magnetic field the behavior of cathode ray is similar to negatively charged particles suggesting that cathode rays consist of in electric field and magnetic field the behavior of cathode rays are similar to negatively charged particles suggesting that cathode ray cathode rays consist of negatively charged particles called electrons the characteristics of electrons do not depend upon the material of electrodes the cathode ray doesn't depend upon the material of electrodes that is cathode or anode and the nature of gas present in the cathode ray tube the gas present in cathode ray tube is not responsible for cathode ray any gas can produce cathode ray if high voltage and low pressure is there the electrons are the basic constituent of all the atoms if hydrogen is there you will get electron if lithium is there you will get electron if sodium is there you will get electron so electron present in cathode ray doesn't depend upon the type of gas or the type of electrode electrode means cathode or anode it is denoted as e now we'll write the definition of electron electron is a stable subatomic particle having negative charge found in all atoms and acting as the primary carrier of electricity in solid so whatever may be the type of atom it contains electron hydrogen contains electron lithium contains electron sodium contains electron so each atom contains electron as the basic constituent then we will find the charge on the electron the charge on the electron can be determined by oil drop experiment R. A. Millikan found the charge on the electron to be minus one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb. Present accepted value of electrical charge is minus one point six zero two two into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb. In oil drop experiment, the charge on the electron is found to be minus one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb. C means coulomb. Thomson was able to determine the value of E by m e. E means charge, m e means mass of electron in kg. By taking accurate measurements on the amount of deflections observed by the electrons on the electric field strength or magnetic field strength. Thomson was able to determine the values of. Thomson was able to determine. Thomson was able to determine the value of E by m e by taking accurate measurements on the amount of deflection. You see what is deflection. This is a cathode ray tube. This is cathode ray. This is cathode. This is the anode. Suppose high voltage is applied. This is cathode. This is anode. A hole is made in the cathode. when the voltage is very high and pressure is very low a glow is seen proceeding from cathode towards anode and hitting the fluorescent material on the cathode ray tube this is cathode ray 
in presence of electric field suppose this is positive charge and this is negative charge cathode will move towards positive charge plate so the deflection can be seen from the amount of deflection you can able to find e by me thomson was able to determine the value of e by me by taking accurate measurements on the amount of deflection you see here is the deflection observed by the electrons from electric field here we have a flat electric field electric field is positive charge and negative charge plates are there in electric field you will find positive charge and negative charge plates cathode ray is moving towards positive charge plate because cathode rays are key cathode rays are negatively charged similarly the deflection can be observed in magnetic field according to fleming's left hand rule suppose this is a magnetic field then cathode ray can be deflected depending upon the strength of magnetic field so from the deflection or you can say from the amount of deflection e by me can be found this was done by thomson where e is the magnitude of charge on electron in coulomb and m is the mass of electron in kg electrons are negatively charged the charge on electron is minus e mass of electron me can be found by dividing e by me with e e is the charge of electron and e by me is the charge to mass ratio or you can say this is specific charge specific charge on electron then me goes of e e cancel so mass of electron can be found you know the charge on the electron is 1.60 into 10 to minus 19 coulomb the accurate value is 1.6022 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and e by me calculated by thomson is 1.758820 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg when these two are divided as shown on the screen the mass of electron me is found to be 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg or you can say 9.1094 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg that is the mass of electron thank you for watching the video till the end